Hi guys, today we are going to discuss performance testing with Loadrunner. Let's see what we are going to cover in this session. Introduction to performance testing. Introduction to Loadrunner. Performance test process. The very first thing that comes to our mind is what is performance testing. By definition, performance testing is a testing conducted to evaluate the compliance of a system or component with a specified performance requirement. In simple words, it is testing done for knowing the performance of an application under load. When we say load, it means users. Any application in ideal case should respond consistently in all the situations. But generally during peak hours, applications become slow and hence performance testing comes in picture. So let's do the performance testing of an application manually. But there are a few challenges. A lot of people and machines are required to create load, which is a limitation for generating heavy load like 500 to 1000 users. Because of requests being sent manually, synchronization is not possible. Hence, repeating the same test again is really difficult. And also, the results obtained are not accurate. So for this, automation is must. Let's see what is there in automation. So we have three tier web application which is being used by the users. To simulate this usage, we need a tool which can send request to the server in the same way the real user do and does not have challenges as manual performance testing. So we have the most popular tool in the market that is Loadrunner. Loadrunner captures the maximum market. This tool can create any number of virtual users with limited machines and simulate the production environment. Let's see this in detail how this works. So we have controller which is the manager of Loadrunner. It transfers the scripts created by Vision to load generator machines while running the test. A script is nothing but one virtual user and load generator machines are highly configured computers. Once the test is started, we can see thousands of requests going to the server by running virtual users on load generator machines. This emulates production traffic. During the test, controller retrieves the monitoring data from the server and shows them in graphical form. After the test, results obtained from the test can be used for analysis to find the performance issues and their root cause. The tool also generates the report. There are few definitions which we should know before moving ahead. You can read the definitions from here. I would like to take an example for this. So, our application is Gmail and one of the functionality of Gmail is sending a mail. So, this is the business process, sending a mail. Action for this business process are launching Gmail entering credentials, hitting login button, hitting new compose button, entering email id, writing subject and body, hitting send button and last logout. Load runner scenario. It is creating the environment as similar as possible to production environment. This can be done through scripts, runtime setting, designing load model, test duration, ramp up, ramp down and so on. We will see all this in detail while talking about controller. Load runner transaction. When actions and their response are measured in terms of time by enclosing them in between the function is called transaction. In the above example, launching Gmail and hitting login button are few examples of transactions. 
virtual user is the script created by Vuegen which captures user's action and performs the same when played back. Runaway point is the used to perform a task simultaneously. A good example of this, 20 users wants to hit login button at the same time. So for this purpose, we will use this point. Checkpoints are nothing but variation points to confirm the virtual user performing as expected. Here are the major components of Loadrunner. ViewGen, the full form is Virtual User Generator. This emulates the real user action. Controller, this is manager of Loadrunner. It creates, maintains, executes the load test scenario. It assigns scenario to virtual users and load generator machines. It can also start and stop the test and displays the monitor collected from the server in graphical form. Load generators, these are highly configured computers used to generate virtual users. Analysis, it helps in analyzing the test results and show them in graphical form. It also generates reports in test. So here is the process of doing the performance testing. The beginning is with the client interaction and the requirement gathering. Once we are, have thorough idea about the client's requirement and application, critical functionalities from, from performance testing point of view are identified and test cases are created. Load models are created on the basis of functionality being used by real users. In ViewGen, so now plays the role of ViewGen. On basis of test cases, scripts are created in ViewGen. Real-time user behavior is given to the script through runtime setting. So both these activities are done in uh, ViewGen. Load test scenarios are created on controller on the basis of load model. Through controller load model, uh, I'm sorry, uh, through controller load test scenario is created and monitored for performance testing. So controller is creating the load scenario and running the uh, load scenario and also monitoring the test. Once the test is over, the tests are analyzed by load runner analysis. These results are deeply analyzed for the performance issues and their root cause. Analysis also helps in generating the report. Let's have a look on this tool. Guys, I'm going to launch the loader now. Programs. HP Performance Center host. Then load runner. Here is the load runner launcher for load runner 11.0. Let's check the license of load runner. This is the enterprise license which gives the facility of using performance center in place of controller. We can also use controller as well. It also provides access to the deep diagnostic tools like HP Sidescope and HP Diagnostic. This license allows us to use 50 users for database bundle and 2500 users for web 2.0 bundle. Most of the, our web application uh, comes under this. So these are the protocols in which we can record our scripts. Protocol is the language that your client uses to communicate with the backend of the system. Here is modules for which we can do the monitoring for any product whose technology is different from J2E, Oracle DB, SAP and .NET. We can monitor that under the heading all monitors 
so here are they and this is for j2e app based application this oracle db this is sap application and this is for dotnet applications the three components of load runner can be invoked from here the three components of load runner are named here according to their jobs to create and edit script here is fusion to run load test this is controller to analyze test result here is analysis if i mouse over on each link it will give a brief summary of the component in the below box can you see that okay here you can see what's new introduced in this version you can see the links for introduce uh, introductory videos for each component explaining the new features so these are for fusion this for controller and this is for analysis let me show you all the components of load runner by launching them from these links so this is fusion this is controller you can see that the dialog box to create new scenario this is the available scripts in the system and this is analysis we will discuss all the three components in detail in our upcoming tutorials thank you